Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about nasopharyngeal airway insertion techniques. It is an artificial airway. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Nasopharyngeal airway can otherwise be called as nasal airway. NPA in short, nasal trumpet because of its flat end which looks like a trumpet and nose hose. Nasopharyngeal airway is a type of airway adjunct, a flexible rubber tube that is designed to be inserted into the nasal passageway to secure an open airway. Moreover, NPA is used to reduce or prevent upper airway obstruction. Coming to the parts of nasopharyngeal airway, the proximal end of nasopharyngeal airway looks flat, called as flange, which prevents the tube from slipping inside the nose. Next is the hollow cannula, and then is the distal tip, which is beveled to facilitate insertion. Next comes the uses or indications of nasopharyngeal airway. Nasopharyngeal airway is helpful when a patient's mouth is difficult to open or access. It is used in conscious patients with intact cuff and gag reflex, whereas oropharyngeal airway cannot be used in conscious patients as we have discussed in the previous session. Nasopharyngeal airways can create a patent pathway and help avoid airway obstruction. Nasopharyngeal airway facilitate back wall mask ventilation and suctioning. It is used during and after pharyngeal surgery. Next comes nasopharyngeal airway contraindications. Facial injury or trauma basilar skull fracture any patient with suspected nasal midface or cribriform plate that is anterior basilar skull fracture coagulopathy because of the risk of epistaxis adenoidal hypertrophy a patient less than four years has enlarged adenoid tissue and a nasal airway may be difficult to insert next how to choose the correct size of nasopharyngeal airway? To determine the correct size, measure from the tip of the patient's nose to the ear lobe or tragus of the ear as shown in the picture. Select a nasopharyngeal airway which has a diameter a little smaller than the patient's nares. Previously, nasopharyngeal airway has been selected by measuring the patient's little finger size, which is no more recommended. Pre-lubricated nasopharyngeal airways are also available. Here comes the nasopharyngeal airway sizes. The sizes range from 12 French to 36 French. The recommended sizes for a large adult is 8 to 9 millimeter, that is from 34 to 38 French. For a medium adult, it is 7 to 8 millimeter, that is from 30 French to 34 French. For a small adult, it is between 6 to 7 millimeter, that is from 26 French to 30 French. For children, 12 French size is commonly used. Let's discuss about the equipments needed for nasopharyngeal airway insertion. Nasopharyngeal airway of appropriate size, water soluble lubricant, clean gloves, suction equipment. Next is positioning. You ensure that the head of bed is at least 30 degrees to assist in breathing. Next, check the nostril patency. To determine nostril patency, feel for air movement through one nostril while occluding the other with the external finger pressure. 
assess the airway for any blocks while in session where there is a need to suction blood or secretions or any foreign body. Lubricate the tip of nasopharyngeal airway with water-soluble jelly. Elevate the tip of nose with the finger as shown in the picture too. Insert the nasopharyngeal airway into the nostril vertically along the floor of the nose following its natural curvature until the flange rests against the nostrils. Next are the complications of nasopharyngeal airway. Epistaxis, sinusitis, accidental dislodgement or displacement, nasal mucosa injury and secondary blood aspiration. Next comes the nursing responsibilities for nasopharyngeal airway insertion. In case if the nasopharyngeal airway is small or big. If too short, an airway will be ineffective. If too long, an airway may obstruct the larynx and may cause laryngospasm, retching and vomiting. Hence, it is very essential to select the appropriate size of nasopharyngeal airway with the previously mentioned external facial measurement. While inserting nasopharyngeal airway, if any resistance is felt. When we encounter any resistance while insertion, try rotating the airway slightly and re-advance it. If the tube still will not pass, then try inserting it into the other nostril. How to verify nasopharyngeal airway tubes placement after insertion? After inserting nasopharyngeal airway, to verify tubes placement, look for chest movement, listen for breath sounds, and feel for air movement over the tube's flange. Safety pins to secure nasopharyngeal airway. The addition of safety pins to the flanged end prevents them from being lost into the oropharynx, and this is very rarely used. So this is all about nasopharyngeal airway insertion techniques. We have discussed about oropharyngeal airway insertion techniques in one of our previous sections and the link is given in the below description box or in the playlists. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.